How to Learn to Ski Strapping fiberglass slabs to your feet to propel yourself down a mountain might seem insane, but once you learn how to ski, it's addictive. You will need warm, waterproof clothes, ski gloves or mittens, a hat or headband, sunglasses or goggles, skis, and ski poles, boots, and bindings. Optional, a helmet. Step one, before you head to the slopes, make sure you're dressed properly. Wear several layers of warm clothes, thick socks, waterproof pants, a hat or headband, ski gloves or mittens, and a ski jacket. Wear protective sunglasses or goggles to protect your eyes from the glare of both the sun and the snow. Step two, buy or rent ski equipment, skis, poles, and boots with bindings. Have a professional ski tuner select the right length and type of ski for you and have them adjust the bindings, which keep your ski boots attached to your skis for your weight and beginner status. In general, beginners should rent ski equipment as your needs will change as you improve. Eventually, once you're skiing a lot and know what you want, you can buy. Step three, begin on a flat surface. Get the feel of the skis by slowly walking around, knees slightly bent. Slide one ski ahead of the other, avoiding the temptation to lean backwards. Step four, once you feel comfortable in your skis, head to the smallest hill or bunny slope. Here you'll probably find a rope toe to hold onto or a conveyor belt called a magic carpet to stand on that will get you to the top of the hill. Keep your skis straight as you're heading up. Consider taking lessons, it's the best way to learn. Step five, when you reach the top of the bunny hill, position your skis so they are facing across the slope of the hill, not down it. You don't want your skis taking off before you're ready. Step six, Practice the snowplow or wedge position. With your legs slightly bent and your weight on the balls of your feet, bring the tips of your skis together and the tails of your skis apart, like an upside down V. Step seven, gently point your skis down the hill. Keeping them in the wedge position will prevent you from picking up too much speed. Let yourself slowly glide down the hill, widening the angle of your wedge if you need to slow down. If you fall, and you will, get up with your skis facing across the slope. Step eight, once you're comfortable snow plowing, you're ready to start turning. Simply shift your weight onto the ski opposite the direction you want to turn. For example, to turn right, shift your weight onto your left ski. Stay in your wedge. Step nine, to avoid coming to a stop, turn in one direction, then the other. Proceed down the hill in this lazy zigzag fashion. Step 10, now practice slowing down and stopping. To slow down, bend your knees and shift your weight forward, widening your wedge. To stop, initiate a turn and follow through until your skis are perpendicular to the direction of the slope. You will naturally come to a stop. If you ever feel out of control, it is always better to squat down and fall on your side than to run into another person or object. Step 11. Continue gliding, turning, slowing, and stopping in the snowplow position. Before you know it, you'll be bidding the bunny slope goodbye forever. Did you know? In 1970, Yurichiro Miura of Japan became the first person to ski on Mount Everest, and in 2003, when he was 70, became the oldest person to reach its summit.